Hi, I'm Yanis, and today I would like to show you how easy it is to develop, deliver, and monitor your microservices using Fabricate. The whole demonstration will take place inside the Fabricate console, where I'm going to create three microservices, Foo, Bar, and Buzz. I will wire them together using Ribbon, and they will form a pipeline with Foo calling Bar and Bar calling Buzz. On uh, each communication endpoint, we will add a circuit breaker, and all circuit breakers uh, are going to be monitored by the high street dashboard. Also, on all HTTP endpoints, we will add an, an interceptor so that we can uh, trace HTTP calls using uh, Zipkin. I've talked in the past about both Zipkin and the high streaks, so I wouldn't want to go into much details in this uh, demonstration but I will paste some links to that previous demonstrations in the description of the video below. I'll start by creating the full microservice using the Fabricate Forge wizard. I'll select the microservice Maven archetype, I'll name my service Foo, and I'll use Maven as the build system. Then I'm going to select the pipeline that will automatically stage my changes whenever a change is performed. The project has been generated from the Maven archetype, uh, the source has been imported to our GOGS Git repository and currently it's built by Jenkins. So, now it's a good time to have a look at the source code of our application. Our application is a simple Spring Boot application that uh, uses the discovery client to discover services uh, through Kubernetes. It uses a high strict circuit breaker and also it uses uh, aspect J for auto proxying. It, this is something that's used by Zipkin to intercept calls and uh, do the tracing stuff. Here is the REST controller that provides a simple REST endpoint that calls a remote service. I'm going to add a sort of breadcrumb so that uh, it's easy for us to trace back to the pipeline steps. Each time a change like this is performed, a new build is triggered and uh, our app gets rebuilt and redeployed to our environment. So after a while, we should be able to see that our build succeeded and uh, our application has been successfully deployed. Let's visit our staging environment and uh, give our application a try. The pod seems to be ready and so is uh, our service, which we can access through this link. We send a request and got back a response from the high strict fallback handler. So why is that? If not obvious, this happens because uh, the target service that we have specified in, uh, inside our REST endpoint is not there. So now it's a good time to create it. Once again, I will use the Fabricate Forge wizard will select the microservice archetype, I will name my service bar and choose Maven as the build system. And then I'll choose the Canary release and stage pipeline and wait for my application to build. I'll perform some minor code changes, similar to the ones I performed in the full REST controller, so that it's easy for us to understand when an HTTP request reaches uh, the bar service. I will also make sure that all HTTP requests are also delegated to the bus server that we'll create next. After the bar service is built and deployed, I should be able to see requests sent uh, to Foo reaching the bar service. To complete our pipeline, we now need to create the bus service. 
we will create a, a new app from the microservices archetype. We'll use Maven as a build system. We'll use a Canary stage and release pipeline. And then we are going to modify the source like we did with uh, Foo and Bar. While I'm waiting, I switch to the dashboard view so that I can have a better view of the build and uh, stage in progress. Now that the bus service is ready, I should no longer see bar falling back, but instead sending requests to bus successfully. Time to take a closer look at our high streak dashboard. Our microservices have been automatically discovered and are visible inside our Hystric dashboard. We see a single circuit that is used by three hosts. This means that uh, we should probably have named our endpoints uh, differently rather than just uh, hello so that we could have a more realistic view of the dashboard. But maybe we can do that uh, in a demonstration in the future. Uh, we can also have a look at our Zipkin console to see some traces. So, we can select the full service from the drop-down menu and then we can find traces, select the topmost trace which consists of seven spans which shows us uh, the execution steps and the execution times which are all very very useful information. That's it, thank you very much.